Hello Divine Collective, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Divine Goddess Enlightenment. I'm Ashley and I am here with a gong well for you guys. As you come in, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already, make yourself at home, hit the bell so you can be notified every time I post a read. I hope you guys are having a fabulous afternoon, I'm doing well. The link to my self-published poetry book, The Unpolished Diamond, will be in the description as well as the about section. So you guys, um, I have another powerful download, I've just been getting downloads left to right so i'm being guided today to just post like continuously post like consistently post today so i think that's what i'm gonna do i'll probably do two more after this one i'm gonna give my time give myself some time though you know to rest in between because when i do these messages like it it does you know it's, it's all energetic you know and um I do have to cleanse, you know, regroup and things of that nature. But yeah, that's what I'm being led to do. This is powerful, you guys. Um, so I just want to first take the time to thank all my new subscribers. Welcome. Make yourself at home. I want to thank all my current subscribers. You guys have been great. You guys have been awesome. I want to thank everyone who shared my content, who have bought my book, who listened to my podcast, who comment, like the likes whatever you do to support me in this channel it don't have to be big at all i'm thankful for the donations as well as too like just the light like is is you know that's good enough for me i appreciate you all okay so um so this is the download you guys um these karmics are confused at how you consistently escape their death traps okay and um, this is because, my baby, you come from an immortal bloodline, all right? <laughs> um, your bloodline has immortality, okay? And this has been bestowed upon you. Hold on. Oh, yeah, this has been bestowed upon you um, from the elders of your lineage here, okay? Um, you, It's like I'm picking up. You have, I did a little research on immortality and lineages and things. I haven't did like an extensive search or anything, but I have, Spirit told me I have enough uh, downloads and information to do this read. So like, I'm getting, like you have, it's like this immortality gene, all right, that you have within your bloodline because this has been bestowed uh, to you upon your lineage here. Because you're not a human, bro. You are a supernatural divine being. You're not human. And if you think you human, please get that get that thought out your head, my baby. You are like it's it's like the the a human mind cannot comprehend this here. All right. A lot of you are star seeds, earth angels, uh, divine messengers, kings, queens, emperors. We are reincarnated in this realm. As, let me shut this window, y'all. We are reincarnated in this realm as divine. Like, not all of us are divine. I meant to say we are reincarnated as, you know, as something specific here. Others incarnated as demons, reptilians. Some incarnated as empresses and emperors and goddesses. You know, um, yeah. I'm getting to like you're a powerful deity here. You're wow, you're a deity walking this earth, walking this realm, okay? And um, yeah, so your bloodline has immortality. This has been bestowed upon you, okay? Um, I'm getting, I have got like divine internal bloodline. You, your, your bloodline is internal, okay? You come from a divine eternal bloodline that carries the gene, the gift of immortality. Because I do, I feel like immortality is a gift. Everyone doesn't have immortality, okay? Um, like, and I also was picking up for some of you here, like you have the, like with this immortality gene and like upon it being activated, some of you, you have the choice of when when you get when you get ready to lead this round um you have that choice okay you you have that decision you make the decision when and how you want to lead this round you make the decision if you ever want to come back to this motherfucker okay um so yeah um like you you really have motherfuckers confused you really have people like appalled they're flabbergasted okay 
So let, let me get through these. Okay, so yeah, you come from a divine race, okay? A divine a divine race, okay? A divine race is a lineage, like your lineage is a is uh the divine race here, and a divine race is favored by the heavens. All right, your lineage is favored by the creator, by the heavens, okay? Um and like like I said, you come, you're a very powerful supernatural being, and you come from a a powerful group of extraterrestrials, okay? And the older the bloodline, the more powerful. Some of you come from the uh, uh, indigenous tribe of ancient beings, okay? That's been here since the beginning, all right? Since the beginning. Like I, like I say, when I pick up, uh, a lot of you are the originals of this, this realm, the, of this planet, of this universe. Damn. Y'all are powerful. <laughs> okay, so like you, your your divine race um is like a powerful group of extraterrestrials, all right? And like been here since the beginning of the time. Like your your bloodline is like I'm getting like y'all the OGs of this universe. I remember saying that in one of my readings, okay. And like I said, the older the bloodline, the more powerful. You come from one of the most oldest, ancient bloodlines. You, you are ancient as, as hell, okay? Okay, so um, so I was getting somewhere here. You experience dying and coming back to life, okay? And it's in this lifetime. It's something that happened like in this lifetime we're in now where you died, but you came back to life. OK, this could have been in a form of you slipping in a coma. Then you came back or maybe you 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 contracted some type of illness or disease. And it was said that you wouldn't live past a, a certain amount of days or months and you end up living and you end up like. Uh, disintegrating the, the the disease or illness altogether, or for someone here, like wow, maybe someone here, like you died in your sleep, okay, and you came back, or you almost drowned, or it's something in our nature, like that's what I'm really getting. Someone you experienced dying and you came back, okay, and this was, and I feel like God used this experience just to not to prove to you, but just to show others how powerful you really are all right just to show others that uh you are like immortal okay and you come from you come from a immortal bloodline okay um i also was getting like you were defeated many lifetimes ago all right and many lifetimes you you face defeat but this lifetime you were promised immortality upon completing your accomplishing your mission okay your birth chart, your birth agreement, and it, it includes immortality, okay? Like I said, you're a very ancient, you old. Your soul could be like a thou like thousands, thousands. I'm getting 5,000, 10,000 years old. Wow. Like, you definitely been around the universe, okay? And that's what I'm getting. Like, the your lineage is very powerful, very old. Y'all the original. So your bloodline, your ancestors, is this is literally... This is literally your ancestors, like, turf I'm getting. Like, yeah. Um, so what else I have here? Like I said, you were promised immortality upon slaying karmics, okay, upon accomplishing this mission. And it's literally in your birth chart. Like I said, um, it's an immortality, immortality gene that you possess that has been activated because you have you stepped into your God frequency and I feel like in order for this gene this immortality gene to be activated thank you spirit you have to step into your God frequency you have to accomplish the mission and that's what you've done and this is what you have been promised that's why these people are sitting back these people scared they scared of you they don't know who you are they like who are you okay they scared of you they confused because you continuously, consistently escape death. You escape that these death traps. It's like they, they set traps, all right, in order to unalive you here, okay? And now they are finding out, okay? Um, they are finding out. Like, people, 
they finding out that you are immortal, okay? Because this is what I was getting. It's crazy, y'all. This download I got. Like, the government got you under some type of study. Like, you've been, and I've been picking up on that, too. You've been uh, included in some type of study. All the chosen ones, I feel like, if you are part of the 144,000, we've been under this government, uh, this government study, this government experience, okay? Um... And I was getting to, it was a group of scientists paid to analyze you as the chosen one. It was a group of scientists paid. I feel like this this started in your childhood because it was already detected who you are. You are marked. You're spiritually, divinely marked. All right. People know who you are spiritually and energetically here. OK. And it uh, it was a group of scientists paid to analyze you because you're, you're, you're uh, not of this world and you're a supernatural being. OK. And um. Like, that's how people know, you know? And then it's like, people are watching you like a movie. These karmics, they watching you like a movie. Like, some are, they are amazed. They're appalled. They're flabbergasted, yet confused, okay? They're confused that you're still here and you're still thriving, okay? And they are aware that you have supernatural blood and you have supernatural abilities and you're immoral, okay? It, immortal, Okay, Mortal Kombat could be highly significant. Okay, you could have played that. It could be something significant about PlayStation, y'all. I'd be so sick of these sirens. I'm moving pretty soon, y'all. I'm excited. I can't wait to move. Like, it's, it, like a lot of stuff be trying to irritate me and distract me when I'm doing these powerful downloads, but I'm not going to let that, you know, affect our powerful message here. We're going to continue to tap in. Okay, but um, yeah, that's uh, that's the vibe, y'all. And for, on this deck, I'm being indicted because this was already on the top. Invest your and your money, but it was in a reverse on my other deck. And I'm, I'm being guided to uh, begin with this deck because, like I said, it was a group of scientists here. It was a group of scientists that was paid to analyze and study you for a long time since you was a child here. All right, and also these karmics. These, it was karmics paid off, okay, to set death traps for you. It was karmics paid to do this, okay? And spirit is simply saying they 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 made a, a horrible investment, all right? They literally threw thousands and thousands and thousands down the drain, down the toilet, because you're a powerful God. And you, when when you, you don't, you ain't gonna leave till you get ready to. When you ready to leave, that's when you ready. Ain't nobody got to say so or the authority to try to end your contract. All right. To try to end, terminate your contract early. Who they think they are? God. Obviously they did. All right. And God set a lot of people down and humbled a lot of people because you be, you consistently keep beating death, death traps, everything it's like these people is should like they sh they are shaking in a boots all right they are shaking in a boots they like dang like you 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 a you a supernatural being okay you're a supernatural force here and you cannot you can't die like you cannot be killed off all right especially you being a chosen one that is that's not in your contract that's not in your contract and no one has the uh, the power no one has the authority to try to terminate and end your contract prematurely here. All right. So that's what spirit is saying. They invested in the wrong thing. All right. They invested in a they invested in the death of a chosen one. And that's a spiritual violation. All right. So spirit guides to the highest light light. As I tap into this energy for my divine ones, I ask that you give me clear channel messages. I also ask that you protect me as I open myself to different energies. Thank you, Ashe. So before we tap into that, uh, my other deck, y'all, I want to get a room. So we going to get a room in regards to this download. But yeah, those are the vibes. People are fab flabbergasted. People are appalled. <laughs> It's almost people feel like people feel um, offended. People are offended, okay. And, and these these karmics, they are realizing that they waste thousands and thousands trying to take you out, okay. They realizing you got supernatural blood and you have supernatural abilities and you're not from this realm, all right. And you are a very powerful supernatural being. All right. No one has the authority to try to prematurely term terminate your contract. These people, who the hell these people thought they was? 
they ain't know they was coming against someone like you. All right, you're not a human by far, okay? You're not like these 3D, these 3D people, these 3D energies, okay? Let's get a room spirit in regards to this. Or right, is a room necessary spirit? Let's see, is a room necessary? Okay, we have a few, that's too many spirit. Let's get one. Spirit. <laughs> Let's get one spirit. Please and thank you. It's only 26 rooms, so, okay. Wow, wow. We have Petro, Petro the room of fate. Y'all see this? Like I said, these energies were paid, these karmas was paid to try to change your fate. Like what I just say, they can, they do not have the power or the authority to try to prematurely terminate your contract. That's what they try to do. All right. Wow. This is the room of, of fate here. The initial P could be highly significant. Okay. Um, first, middle, last initial here. Okay. But look, y'all, this is, we have, this is the room of mystery, uh, Feminine energy, okay, fertility, the unknown, discovery, discovering the unknown. Wow. So, yes, you see, it say mystery. Spirit is sad. Like these karmas, you are, are like a mystical mystery. Like you're, it's something very mysterious about you. People feel like you're a mystery to this universe. You're a mystery amongst these humans because you're not a human. You surviving these death traps is a mystery. People don't understand how you were able to do this, all right? Some people are coming to grips that you really are a supernatural being and you're not a human and you possess immortality. You possess spiritual supernatural abilities that humans don't possess because you're not a human, my baby, okay? Um, it's a feminine energy here, a feminine karmic that was paid and contracted to ch try to prematurely terminate your contract, all right, that find you highly, uh, highly mysterious, okay? This person is also, wow, look, this was on, this on top of this deck. This, th these, these individuals are going through harsh, harsh karma, harsh, harsh judgment, Okay? And I feel like it's a karmic feminine that tried to uh, that tried to possess you uh, and that tried to send you some type of deadly disease, some type of deadly illness, and it backfired onto her with the card I just showed. It backfired onto her here. For some of you, this is your karmic mother, but you knew that, okay? And uh, with this fertility here, I feel like it was people contracted to attack your womb, attack your children, okay? Attack your sacral chakra here, all right? And people uh, people try to change your faith, not knowing that they was going down a, a, a dark path of destruction, and this was unknown to them, all right? And then look, we have discovering the unknown, all right? It has, you are being discovered as this mystical creature, all right? You are being discovered as this supernatural being that holds supernatural blood and you have supernatural abilities, okay? People are discovering this, all right? All right? Wow. But yeah, Petro, this is the room of fate. These people try to prematurely um, terminate your contract with the most high and God got a huge problem with that. All right. Um, yeah, so Spirit says start with this deck. Okay, Spirit. We don't tap in. Okay. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. This is this is very powerful though. This not gonna be for everybody, um, as you guys may may um understand because you know everybody don't have this ability everyone isn't divine as well so you know you know if this your story if this for you okay what's this get you some me time okay you may be spending a lot of time alone you may be catering to the needs of yourself catering to the needs of your the extensions of you, your children, all right? Just spending a lot of a lot of quality time with yourself. Cause you you've been through a lot. Spirit is saying, like, don't don't uh, be too hard up on 
you know, trying to over expand yourself because you've been through a lot. We have don't eat pork here, all right? Wow, like I said, I've been picking up on this vegan energy. You could be vegetarian as well. You could have just stopped eating pork. A Muslim could be highly significant, okay? All right. Someone here, if you're eating pork, your ancestors, spirit is guiding you for, for healthier or alternatives here. Let's get some more energy. We have let them hate. Hi, these humans hating on your immortality. <laughs> they hating on your immortality, my love. I don't know why. Um, Y'all see how I look? How, there we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, but these energies, they're hating on your immortality. All right. They're hate, they hate the fact that you continuously beat their death traps. They hate the fact that you come from an immortal bloodline. All right. Like I said, you've been under some type of government watch, some government study, all right? It was scientists paid to analyze and study you since birth. Mm. We have keep grinding, you're a boss, okay? You're an entrepreneur, you're starting some type of business. I'm hearing you're gonna be leading a huge legacy. Okay, wow, thank you, Spirit. Like I pick up on, you are, you are a legend here. <laughs> I picked up on yesterday. It's something you're doing that's going to have a major payout. It's something you're creating that's going to ge generate a lot of revenue for you here. Okay? You could be an Aries. You could be having troubles with, with your boss. If you're working a 9 to 5 right now, you could be having um, issues with your work environment or with your boss and you're being guided to work for yourself because, I mean, you... Uh, you don't even, you're not even from here, okay? Let's get some from my deck, though. Well, actually, let's get an angel. We're going to get a message from the angels real quick. Wow, signs and reminders, okay? A butterfly could be your, um, butterflies and rainbows could be highly significant. A butterfly could be your um, spirit animal, okay? And, you know, butterflies are all about transformation, metamorphosis, new life cycles, okay? Wow, yeah, you created, uh, you're, you're created, you created like a immortal life cycle, all right? Like I said, you have the decision. You, you rank that high, you have the decision if you want to be here or not, or whenever you choose to leave this realm, okay? You're seeing, a, it's like the universe is reminding you of your immortality. The universe is, is reminding you of your strength, and your universal position, okay? Your ancestors are reminding you this as well, all right? We have these blue jays here. You could be seeing a lot of blue jays or just a lot of blue birds, okay? The universe is, you're you're in alignment with the universe because you you your bloodline is the OGs of this universe, okay? It's something significant about feathers as well. You could be collecting feathers. You could be seeing a lot of black feathers, okay, for someone here, yeah. Wow, Spirit want me to leave this one out. This was at the bottom, though. Science and reminders, okay? I'm getting sued. Every time these energies attack you or try to send, conjure something up to send to you, they are um, uh, reminded of how powerful you are. They are reminded that you're a supernatural um, being and you have supernatural authority. They reminded that they cannot F with you. That you untouchable. <laughs> you could be seeing um, 333 because, like I said, you have become in alignment. You're becoming in alignment with the universe. Like I said, your lineage tribe of elders and your lineage, they run this. They run this. Y'all, your bloodline been here since the beginning of the time. Like I said, the older the bloodline, the most powerful. All right. So, spirit. Let's get another angel message here from my immortal beings. <laughs> wow, we have um, strength and guidance here. All right, strength and guidance. Your your supernatural strength. You thank you, Spirit. You have supernatural strength. This is how you were able to beat these death traps as well, because your the strength you have is is universal. It's supernatural. All right. 
Like I said, you come from a divine race, a divine race of gods, okay? And your divine race is favored by the heavens. It's favored by the universe here, all right? So you were always guided. The, the universe literally guided you out of certain attacks, guided you out of and like beating these death traps here, all right? And you see how it looks, you, the universe is like within him. The universe is within you. Your bloodline is connected to this universe, to the universe as a whole here, all right? And you received a lot of strength and guidance from your lineage. Supernatural, okay? I'm getting superhuman abilities, but I don't even want to say human. That's why I say supernatural, because you're you you part human just because you're in this 3D. You you have a body here, you have a vessel, but your soul is far from like a human. Your soul, like not in that aspect, but like y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> Look, we have power and attention. Okay, these people set the intention to destroy you. To unalive you, these people set the set the intention to try to take your power. All right, your your power, your strength, your gifts here. Okay, but I'm getting like father. I don't know why I just heard father time. That's highly significant. Okay, I'm getting rock energy with this too as well. All right, I'm like the, the thank you spirit, the divine father. All right, you have grace, you have favor from the divine father here. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> let's get one of mine, some some energy from my deck. Then, then we're going to clarify some things. They thought, thank you, Spirit. They they thought they had the power to um, terminate your, your contract and to tamper with, with, with destiny, to tamper with your fate here. We have Oshun popping out again. This popped out in the last reading. It's, it's something highly significant about Oshun here. Okay, Oshun protects you. Oshun is sending you an overflow, a divine overflow of uh, of blessings, all right, of riches. Rivers could be highly significant. You could be visiting a river. I did yesterday, y'all. You could be visiting a river, all right? Yeah, you could be the daughter of son of Oshun here. All right, someone very attractive, someone very, yeah, someone very attractive, very alluring, okay? A lot of these in, in, individuals that was contracted, though, to um, set these death traps for you, these were people that were, that was always, they never liked you. So when an opportunity to unalive you came about, like, it was easy for them. It was easy for them to do this, Okay. Is the is these karmic energies? They all have different they they different reasons of why they did not like you. And a lot of you is your beauty, all right? It's your it's your it's just you, bro. It's your essence. It's just who you are, all right? God set you apart. We have September, all right? You could be born in September. It could be a major event happening in September. This September coming up, you could be a September Libra here. All right, something significant about... Wow, last September. For someone here, last September, you could have defeated death in some type of way. Or last September, uh, someone conjured something to send to you and you defeated it. It's something significant about September and you defeated some type of death trap. Or maybe you learned you was immortal in September for someone here. You learned. You learned you was immortal. My bad, y'all. I don't know why I keep doing that. I got it working, though. We have oh yeah. Wow, it's crazy. Y'all see how I have to close my window because the, the wind was was blowing too hard. All right. Oh yeah, energy here. Okay. These your enemies are getting stood on by oh yeah. You could be the daughter of the son of oh yeah. All right. It's a storm warning. It's a storm warning, a violent storm. It's highly significant. It could be raining where you at, or it could be real windy right now. But all y'all energy is in an atmosphere because all y'all is is uh all y'all is bringing bringing this storm about when it's when it refers to your enemies, okay? All right, and like I said, with this uh with the signs and reminders with these butterflies, death and rebirth, you have started a new cycle of life. A new cycle of life is significant here. 
Oh, that's too light. I don't know what's going on with this, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to see, y'all. Let's continue, though. Let's get a few more, and then we're going to clarify some things. Okay. <clears throat> they blame you for their karma, but who cares? You are you are the cause of their karma, and, all right, nobody going to do nothing about it. You the cause of their karma because you a god, all right, and they came for the wrong one. How you going to come for God? What you think gonna happen? Like I said, these these people are facing major storm, storms and major endings in their life, and they blame you. Like I said, a lot of you are, are reincarnated cosmic messengers here. All right, universal, universal. You have a strong universal connection. All right, a lot of you are reincarnated. Look, karmic debt. All right, these people blaming you, but they got karmic debt from previous lifetimes. And then on top of that, like I said, that's a spiritual violation, setting death, death traps and trying to pre prematurely terminate a, a chosen one contract. Someone of high regard. 44 is highly significant. You could be a life path number eight. Someone could be 44 here. Something significant about when you were 44 here. Let's clarify a few things. We have Leo energy as I pick up the tarot deck, okay? Your, your, your supernatural strength is just unmatched, okay? And these the, the scientists that were paid to analyze and study you, they, 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 have, they have realized that, that you do carry supernatural strength, okay? They, they are, people are confused. Even you got scientists even confused. You got scientists confused as to how you're still here, as to how, like, where you come from, what lineage you come from. You can have a blood type O. Okay, let's get some overall energy from the tarot first. Earth, wind, and fire could be highly significant. I was just listening to Earth, wind, and fire. Like I said, you, you someone, you are old soul. You love that type of music. You could like you like Earth, Wind, and Fire. You like the Isley Brothers. You like the Commodores. All right. Yeah. Two. We had a two of Swords here. Something significant about a, a decision. Yeah. They were blinded to who you were when they made the decision. When they made the decision to unalive you and set death traps for you. Okay, and like I said, these scientists and gover government officials, although they've been studying you since your childhood, they're still oblivious as to exactly who you are, how you got here. Like, they my fact, are still confused here. <laughs> you know? Okay. Um, wow. Look, this Seven of Pentacles just popped up, okay? Like I said, these scientists, government officials, people were paid to invest in studying you and analyzing you. All right. Thank you, spirit. Okay. These karmics were paid. Like I said, this is a horrible investment. It was karmics paid to literally set these death traps for you that you, uh, you know, overcame. Um, clarify power and intention, spirit. Wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You stand standing in your power across the tower moment to these people. Wow, someone could have tried to set a trap of you and some in a house fire. It could be I always pick up on that when I see this tower card. All right. It was some type of intention set to to something about a house fire, all right? You, wow, someone here you could have survived a house fire. All right, with the with the help and the assistance of the divine. All right, no matter how, no matter what attacks and near death experiences you went through, you always were were saved. You all, the divine always stepped in and saved you. Someone here, you did die and you came back, and that was the tower moment. That's when my feathers moved. Like something is something weird about you in a good way though. Weird is good to me. I love when people call me weird. Yeah, I'm weird. I'm weird as hell. I ain't from here. I I don't want to be like these humans. No, I'm weird. I'm an empress. Okay. I'm I'm a, I'm a supernatural being. I'm not from here. All right. 
if you're going through some type of financial situation right now, you're getting assistance. You're seeing 888 and 777 and 333 at this time. You're getting assistance. All right. God is sending in divine angels, divine warriors. All right. Sitting in angelic helpers to assist you. All right. You may feel like you going through some type of tower, tower moment because everything is crashing before you. But and like I always say, for things, for you to come into like fruition and for things to be built on a solid foundation, the old one has to come down, has to be dismantled. Okay. Yeah. These people thought they could tamper with uh, with fate, with your destiny. These people thought they, they tried to terminate your contract. And they were paid to do this. Let's get a few more. Clarify. Dang, spirit. <laughs> a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is a significant. Clarify signs and reminders, spirit. Wow. Ace of Wands. Yeah. I, I can't make this up, y'all. You get the universe is giving you sign is giving you signs and reminders of, of who you really are and the power you possess and the fact that you're immortal. All right. And the fact that you that you the universe is within you. All right. The fact that you are the original creator. Well, not creator like God, but the original co-creator of this universe. OK, because y'all, I don't care how powerful we may be. We not more powerful than the most high, all right? Than divine source here, but we do carry that same energy, all right? The the universe show you every day how powerful you are, how magical and mystical you are. You you creating and manifesting left to right. Things it's just it's crazy, okay? You're reminded every day of of your power, your abilities, your supernatural abilities here. We have five of cups here, all right? These these uh these karmics that was paid to set these traps, they know that it has been reversed, okay? The death traps has been reversed. The angel of death is, the angel of death is here to connect. You have dominion over the angel of death. Let's get a final message here. Let's get a final message here. Let's get a final message. Yeah. You're standing your ground, okay? These are energies that was contracted to come towards you. They came, they, on the outside, they, they appeared as family, friends, nurturing, caring individuals, okay? And they were paid and contracted to do this. And you stood your ground. You standing your ground with these people. Because you stepped in your power. Okay? You stepped in your power. You're standing your ground to a, a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces that was contracted to set a death trap for you. Yeah, look. And then you, you stood your ground. So for someone here, you could have cut somebody out. You did something. You stood your ground and you sold away. All right? You sold away. All right? And you began to continue to continue on your contract, your, your pre-birth agreement here. Like I said, they came together to try to prematurely terminate this, okay? And keep you in some type of, uh, keep you in a mental state of confusion, to keep you stuck in this 3D matrix, to keep you stuck in your 3D self, okay? But hey, look, my baby, <laughs> you the magician. You're immortal. You're powerful, all right? And you're not to be messed with, all right? And yeah, those are the vibes. Love you guys. Till the next video. Peace.